Folium is the world's first community designed to make it easy for everyday people to get involved in blockchain mining while drawing power from a hybrid of green energy sources. Get involved today at folium.io. What's going on, Cryptocurrency Universe? It's the Bitcoin Miner here, guys. And I've got some helpers today. And this is Kyle over here to the left and Autumn over here to the right. And you guys are going to help us build what? We're going to be building a 6 GPU mining grid out of uh, 6 Zotec GTX 1080 Ti's. We have an Asus B B250 mining expert board. Uh, we have an EVGA Supernova 1600P2 with 8 gigs of crucial RAM. HP 120 gig SSD, as well as three high RPM CFM fans, um, as well as some six pin um, PCI Express risers and the Celeron processor. Well, cool. Well, thank you very much. And we're going to go ahead and start putting this build together, ladies and gentlemen. So hang tight and we'll start. All right, guys, we're installing the fan into the server case now. These are some custom server cases that I had made. Uh, that will hold six. We've got some new designs coming out that will hold uh, eight and ten uh, That will be available soon through the folium project. So make sure to be on the lookout for those You know the idea is to make sure to I know how difficult it can be to find these parts We want to make sure to get them in everybody's hands as cheaply and efficiently as possible So we're trying to work out some deals with some local manufacturers and get them really cheap and in large-scale volume so but that's coming soon. I'm trying to put the deals and everything together. Give me a little bit of time. As Kyle finished wrapping up, putting the uh, fan in on this case, the next step is going to be installing the wire for the four pin fans. Um, that wire, here's the wire. So you can see it's got the three prongs on the end that will plug into each one of the individual fans. And the other end over here, uh, goes to the motherboard, the four prong, the small version, and the Molex will go straight to your power source. So it doesn't power it from the motherboard, so you don't have a chance of burning out your board because it can only handle about an amp, maybe an amp and a half off your board's rail. These fans will pull an amp each full blown. Okay, as you guys can see, the cable is plugged in. Um, and the next stage is to plug in the what, Kyle? Six pin riser, PCI Express risers. Okay. So those go on the special slot holes we've got right here. All right, we'll let him go ahead and screw those in. The next step is to go ahead and install your power supply. All right, guys, the next step is to go ahead and install the motherboard into this. All right, the next step is to install the processor. And then we'll also install the RAM. Now for this board, they recommend using 32 gigs of RAM if you're going to use uh, 16 cards, although we're only going to use six on this particular board. Uh, so we're just going to use eight. If uh, I'm gonna use 10 in the new box, I would probably use 16 gigs of RAM. And then we're going to go ahead and install the cooler that came with it. All right, Kyle's got the processor and the RAM installed, and we went ahead and looked through the wires we had. Um, Autumn, if you can grab one of those uh, GPUs for us. We actually wanted to count the wires, and we've only got five double wires, the splits, uh, the, two EV, the uh, two VGA wires. So we have uh, have to use two of the regular ones and then the five that come with it, and we've got two singles left. So we're just going to go ahead and run the two singles over here. And we've got two extra SATAs, 
So we're going to run uh, two on one SATA line and two on the other SATA line. The 1080 Ti, as you can tell, has one 8 pin and one 6 pin. So we're going to have to use the double plug here. So we have the one 8 pin here and then one 6 pin. So this kit, the uh, EVGA 1600 P2, only comes with five. So we'll have to use those five along with two of these to power the last card. We got two left again. Hook those up and we'll use SATA for these. Generally, guys, I prefer not to use these if possible, but we just don't have the cords available, so we've got to do what we've got to do. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get all this hooked up and move on to the next stage. All right, we went ahead and plugged in all of the uh, power cords and got everything set up nicely tucked away. We try to utilize the extra space behind the power supply and underneath of it. Now the next step is to go ahead and plug in the uh, USB risers and then we're going to go ahead and get the cards and start installing those. Alright guys, we're ready to go ahead for Kyle to install the 1080 Ti graphics card, the first one. We've got all of the uh, USBs plugged in on this board. We went ahead and used the first set here. And these guys just click into place right like that. And we'll put a screw on the top. And we'll go ahead and install all these. Alright guys, Kyle's got all of the uh, GPUs installed, screwed down. And the only thing that is left is to go ahead and power them up. Okay, we're getting pretty close. We've got everything powered up. As you can tell, Kyle did a really nice job of bundling everything and keeping it nice and neat so we've got maximum airflow in the case. And the only thing left to do now is to plug in the SSD. Um, and we're going to need to plug in the uh, power plug so we don't have to use the screw trick. So we'll get one of those and get that done. Okay, Kyle and um, Autumn's got everything plugged in. We got the final touches, the power plug, and our SSD, um, which we went ahead and preloaded Windows and the drivers on from another machine. And we're going to go ahead and plug this guy in and see what it can do. Gotta love this Asus mining board. Look at that. It shows you the connections. No figuring it out or guessing games. Here we are on the bio screen. Kyle's going to walk us through a quick setup of the basics, which is adjusting the fan for the case, so we want them to move a little bit faster. So Kyle set him at 50%, and now he's going to click advanced mode down at the bottom. And once he clicks that, he went to advanced at the top and he's scrolling all the way down to APM configure, select that, and then restore AC power loss on. And then pretty much it, exit and save. All right guys, we went ahead and uh, loaded Windows on this machine to wrap up the demo. A lot of times we'll use EthOS or we're actually working on our own custom application for mining, uh, but it's not ready yet. It'll be a couple more months. But we want to show you some uh, basic uh, draws of what this machine can do with 61080 Ti's. Uh, Kyle, go ahead and start the Ethereum miner. So we'll let that ramp up. So you can see there's six cards. While that's getting going over there to the left, I just love this new board. Um, you can see each card, shows you what it is, it's working. You can have it auto uh, detect the card, restart it if you want, uh, auto run a program. So there's a lot that you can really do with this new, uh, new mining boards. Much nicer. So there you go. 31, 32 mega hashes on Ethereum. You can play with uh, some of the settings 
and I'll go ahead and click over onto MSI Afterburner. And you can definitely get it up a little higher and get the power efficiency down a lot. I know for a fact that you can go ahead and put the power efficiency at about 70% and you should be able to put 150 on um, the core clock and the memory clock and get it up there a little bit. But go ahead and stop that Kyle. Let's see what Zcash can do. Okay, there we go, 418 souls, 674 per card on just factory settings. And you can probably get that up a couple hundred more just by playing with the settings. We'll get into that in another day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to give us a thumbs up and like us. If you did, if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. We'll try to do better next time. Talk to you guys later on. Thanks again for watching. See you.